This is Jamie with Southeast Figs. We have here a coated on blanc air layer from a proven tree. This year, the necks aren't as long as they were last year, but it has been a very hot and dry year. So, but look at the roots just everywhere popping out into this potting mix. I was worried the potting mix was going to be too dense, right? But in this heat, in this greenhouse, look at that. Beautiful white roots everywhere. The only brown spots are the roots are sticking up in the air and drying out. Uh, this is one of my favorite figs. I want to get another Col de Dom Blanc variety or two or three. Uh, I'm layering all four of the main branches off my Col de Dom Blanc mother tree. It's Col de Dom Blanc bowed tree. I hunted and sifted through many sellers before I decided on who to buy from. And the seller I bought from had lots of pictures of fruit and leaves and, you know, just very high quality salesmanship, right? This tree's doing really good. We move over here. This is Nero 600M with Black Celeste grafted onto it right here. Comes on up. You got a couple of figs on it. Leaf structure. The sucker. I had to pinch it, and I've had to pinch a bunch of branches off of it. Yeah, I'm leaving a couple. I'm gonna air layer them off, and then next to it, we have a Teve de Argentil grafted on. It's doing good. It's got five figs on it, and I'm air layering the top out of it. We're still really green vegetative growth. Let's see. Native de Argentil. Down here is a rooted cutting of the same variety. The leaves, you know, look a little different on the graft. And we're in the greenhouse too, so the leaves look a little different than they would out in direct sun. Uh, Black Bethlehem starting to grow. Finally, you know. Uh, Chicago Hardy and a three and a half four gallon pot that's 3.75 it's got two trunks it used to be one trunk when the tree was tiny you know but it morphed into just one fat blob of roots we got a main branch with a secondary branch here's a main branch with two secondary branches there and again this one splits off into a branch here then a branch here then two branches here and another branch no that was it they're looking good ripening I know I'm rushing I'll probably do another video later uh, do more up close on each variety. White Madeira number one. These suckers are just clump, clump. Four figs on a three inch <laughs> section. A graft, another Hative de Argentil graft. It's got a couple of little figs growing on it. Yeah, Let's see. Cone Lent was Black Cross. Campanere. Let's see. Malta Black. The leaves are getting huge here in the greenhouse. And we see fruit coming on the tree. And several branches. I'll probably layer off all those branches. Use them for like trade or as part of the giveaway. I have a free fig tree for local people's uh, project that I got going on. Black Celeste. The leaves are getting big here in the greenhouse. Here's De La Roca. It's got four figs on it. This one's getting bigger. It'll be ripening sometime here soon. I-258. Oh, this one I was one of my I'm most excited about. 
one of the main ones I'm most excited about. It's got several nice fat figs on it. Can't wait for them to hardly start ripening. Oh, then back here have Dalmati. The leaves are looking different here in the greenhouse a bit than they do out in the direct sun. Okay, so yeah, that's true on most of the varieties in here. And we have Ronde de Bordeaux. This is a second year tree. Ronde de Bordeaux. Another second year tree. Looking good in its little pot. A Ronde de Bordeaux. An air layer off the other trees. It's pretty dang big itself a lot more vegetative growth with less branches the leaves are getting bigger and more fingered out another ronde de bordeaux right next to it looking good look at the fingers on that one then i have this ronde de bordeaux air layer from last year uh giving it away a member on our figs already claimed it. Let's see, LSU purple, a green Ishea, a little green Ishea. Here's my green Ishea, fourth year tree. Look at the figs, buddy. Tons of figs. Figs, figs, and more figs. They're just all over the tree. Bam. We got Black Madeira KK right here. A second year tree grafted onto a green Ishea rootstock because the cutting wasn't rooting. You know, covered in figs. Genos Black. Let's see. Covered in figs. YOLO Bypass. Let's see if I can get this before we're out of time. YOLO Bypass. Fruiting this year nice fat you know figs it's in a about a seven gallon pot it's a dense like old fiberglass thing man really really good pot my alma air layer i layered the top the entire top out of a fourth year or fifth year tree maybe a fifth year tree uh it's looking really good yeah leave them leaves They're not normally that small. That's just the way they are right now in this air layer. Yeah, it's got several branches. It's going in a decorative planter, and I'm gonna train it kind of like a bonsai tree. Let's see what else I can get before I run out of time. Uh, Del Monte, in direct sun, the leaves aren't as you know fat. They're more slender fingers. Here is a Stella right next to it and three smith trees bam 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 from a different person uh these are all donated from i can't remember which person it was but a member of our figs the cuttings to my free fig trees for local family projects and alma see if we can get it here there's two alma trees in one pot and one in another pot. Figs. A good looking leaf structure. Let's see, you can have single lobe looking leaves. Tri lobed. Some of these leaves are smaller. Oh yeah. Uh, here's a more of a five lobe looking leaf. There's another alma tree. Oh, looking good. Figs. More figs, and here is the almond tree that I air layered the whole top out of it. Pretty good sized pot. All this growth.